brings you the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And it's brought to you by EA Sports. It's the Jags and the reigning Super Bowl champs. And it's all up next. Playoff fever has immersed South Florida as we are at Hard Rock Stadium here in Miami. Coming up, divisional round Saturday. We've got an AFC battle on tap as it'll be the Jacksonville Jaguars taking on the Miami Dolphins. With Charles Davis, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top-flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game... <laughs> Hard Rock Stadium. I don't know why it's so dark in here. Somebody needs to fix the lights. And it will not be Julian saying the man 100% crystal balled to Ohio State. Receiving the football first. It'll be Trevor Lawrence. And the Jacksonville Jaguars is Arsenal. We'll take an eight. Check 247 if you don't believe me. Because I went in there because I was going to switch his college in this game, and he's 100% crystal balled. Now, I don't know if that's going to happen, but who knows. Jags start at the 25, and a handoff to Travis Etienne to get three yards. We got ran all over in our game against the Austin Redwoods. By Christian McCaffrey, who's like 34, 35 years old, whatever it is. And 87 overall. And he got more carries than anyone I've ever seen in franchise mode. And now ETN. The game just must know we have a bad run defense because apparently we have a really bad run defense. And, I mean, yeah, that, that would make a little less sense of going and getting Will Howard just because Saiyan's probably ready to go, as that should have been picked. I should have been able to jump that bad reaction there with E.J. Verdon and the incompletion for Trevor Lawrence. But two runs have gotten the Jags up to the 45. Now an empty backfield for Lawrence on second down, and it's a wide receiver screen, and it's Mike Williams with a stiff arm. And a gain of four yards. Up near midfield. Cover two hard, uh, invert hard flat does not work with this defense like it did with the Bears. When we when we were running with the Bears, my goodness, that was our money, money play when it came to zone. Third down and six. And it's Elias Williams. Superstar, X-Factor, tight end, Elias Williams for a first down. Well, we had a bad opening drive against the Austin Redwoods as well, and it's shaping up to be that way again. Empty backfield, Lawrence, when Airy made it around, and it's picked off by Travis Hunter, but I think this is going to be roughing the passer. Ouch. I can't argue it, but that certainly hurts. Jaguars down, and David Horn got in the backfield. Slowed him up. And then Trey Hendrickson and others get ETN for no gain. Second down and 10 from the 27. One air he can't get free. He'll throw to... Lawrence will throw to ETN on the run, however, and inaccurate. How aggressive do we want to be? I don't know if sending pressure is a great idea, but with a chance to get off the field without allowing a touchdown, huge. And it's, oh, it's a fumble. The ball is on the ground, and it's picked up by Williams Woodary. 
And bringing the pressure works as Trevor Lawrence has put the ball on the ground and Waneri got a free rush at Trevor Lawrence. And just sticks an arm out. So here comes Julian saying. <laughs> I was conceding three points. That is a huge stand from this Dolphins defense who struggled on the first drive and really settled down after that. Had a good rest of their first quarter. Second quarter kind of fell apart, but that was more on the offense. A first down run for H and somehow going to be able to find a hole to pick up yards. And not only pick up yards, picked up seven of them. Oh. PA crossers on the second play of the game. I say I don't call this play either unless we need it or it shows up in the suggestions on the first page. It has showed up here. And we got Mar Maserati Marv in the slot. So watch the safety on the right. And he bit in. Uh-oh. To Marvin Harrison Jr. And this may go for six. And indeed it will. 55 yards to Marvin Harrison Jr. That play <laughs> is busted. So a touchdown off the turnover. And Sane hits Harrison right in stride to think of what could have been for you, Ohio State. You could have had Julian Sane firing balls to Marvin Harrison Jr. But, man, that, that greedy, greedy Maserati Marv, he just wanted a payday. I am 100% kidding, by the way. Marvin Harrison Jr. should 100% enter the draft. Harrison Mevis, PAT, up and good. 7-0 Dolphins. Mevis will kick off for the second time in four minutes. Arsenal. Who is not a real player, but I always find it fun when I see him. Oh, dicks. All right. So Julian Sane hasn't 100% committed to Ohio State, but now Alabama safety Caleb Downs has committed to Ohio State. Where does Ward Manuel live? Because I need to find out for reasons. Can Ward Manuel just offer Jim Harbaugh Whatever he wants. I don't care what it is. I don't care if we have to rename Michigan, uh, the University of Michigan, as Jim Harbaugh University at this point. Because Michigan is doing fuck all because we're on season eight of Harbaugh Watch. Regardless, first down, Jags. David Horn got in there. A throw. And incomplete. It's incomplete. Even the greats in this game, and, and he certainly qualifies as one of them. They're going to have trouble if they continue to throw into double coverage. He better be careful. Throw into too much double coverage. Might have a couple of them picked off. Hand off. Uh-oh. ETN with a run. He's going to gain six yards. Third down and much more manageable for the Jags here. On a drive where... If they don't want the first half to completely get away from them, I feel like they might want to do something, as that's thrown to nobody in particular. Elias Williams, I guess, is the target in a three and out for Jacksonville. Sanborn, the Texas Longhorn, punts it away, and Marvin Harrison Jr. on the return. Do we have some blocks? We do. Marvin Harrison Jr. has escaped to the outside. He's breaking tackles. Oh, boy. Dolphins start on the Jags side of the 50 after a phenomenal punt return from Marvin Harrison Jr. 
And Achan with blocks. Oh, what a tackle by Kalen King. Not only did it save an even bigger gainer, it, it, it even saved the first down, which did not look like it was going to be possible for the Jags. A Penn State man. Achan again. Left side of the line for the Jags gets blown up. Achan gets the first down. <clears throat> may not be real, but you may have found more Manuel's address. I mean, people people are asking what it may be. They are pressing Tetsuroa McMillan. That's certainly a choice. First down, Dolphins. Are you that people? I, uh, I'm one of them. They'll look to throw here. We'll find Jalen Waddle. He'll pick up a first down. Saiyan starts this game three of three for 85 yards. And Navon HN might just be able to finish it off right here. Up the middle, contacted. He gets to the two. It's never too early to start taking time off the clock, right? Uh, I mean, I know we only have one tight end in the formation, but that's certainly a way to line up on defense. Easy touchdown, Devon Achan. They clearly don't know Miami Dolphins ball. Because I'm running that nine times out of ten. <laughs> That's a choice. Touchdown, Miami. Harrison Mevis. It'll be good. Both are specialists wearing numbers in the 90s. What is this, the Big Ten? Mavis sends it away, and the Jags need points of any sort bad. Lawrence back to throw. One airy picked off Patrick Queen. Is he going to take it back? Yes, he will. Pick six, Patrick Queen. It is getting out of hand. And it is early in the divisional round. Patrick Queen, about the last guy on this defense, outside of maybe David Horn, that I'd expect to get a pick six. And Lawrence just never got off that read of Elias Williams. And an easy interception. Halfway through the first. Just over. And it's 21-0 Miami. Uh, well, Jacksonville, what do you got now? And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. And out now comes Jackson. Like, somebody needs to tell Ward Manuel that he is um, not the star of the Michigan athletic program. ETN bouncing off EJ Verdon. Powered down by Trey McNutt. <clears throat> What's a good offer for Jim? I don't even... With the way that college contracts work, I don't even care. Give him whatever he wants. A lot of times it's that first read that you had. Maybe you get it in pre-snap and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. I don't know what he's pushing for outside of what the media has reported. As this is gonna be PI on Trey McNutt, apparently. First down Jaguars. <clears throat> Whatever the man wants. You're the University of Michigan. You can afford it. Yeah, it hurts momentum in a big way, and they built that up here in the early 
going. Now that leaves the opposition. Hand off ETN red well. And in this our third playoff uh I can't say appearance, but our third I guess it is our third playoff appearance. That's really probably one of the highlights of Jalen Phillips time. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front. Because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes. It's PI because that's picked off by Jazavian Currents. He just stepped in front of that. I think we got one of those ugly games on our hands. It's it's PI because the animation kicks in before the player is actually there. And now here he is making interceptions in the National Football League. And this is a guy that has all the physical tools. 540 to go first quarter. Usually though when we get these games where the opponent comes out and plays quite this bad the run game doesn't work the run game has actually been all right I haven't broken a big one yet but we i don't even think we've been sent backwards on the run as here's hn again good block from harrison jr for a couple extra yards well yeah because the penalties it's it's a lot like nhl where the penalties are just all animation based And when I say that, I mean, pause the game for this one. I can't get that out in nine seconds. When I say that, I mean, when the penalty animation comes in, because they're two different things. It's, you know, you, you can, you can very much do something in NHL that would be called interference in a real hockey game because the animation doesn't kick in for it to be a penalty it doesn't count and it's the same thing with Madden they do the same thing they got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far right now over the middle Marvin Harrison Jr he's got it to the four Julian saying 4-4 four four. he has not been needed much today but when he has it has gone well a pitch play to Braylon Allen, and the edge got blown up. We'll lose three yards. Braylon didn't have the speed to get to the outside. I suppose we'll give the ball right back to Braylon, this time up the middle. These have been some of our best runs of the day. Braylon Allen to the one. Got it all back and then some. Where's a run for Braylon? There we go. Let this offensive line hopefully do the work. Ball is inside the one, and it's going to be a touchdown for Braylon Allen. We are in blowout territory, and we have not gotten to quarter number two. Now, I'd expect the Jags to wake up at some point. Maybe they got the first period, uh, the first quarter. We're gonna suck some massive ass script, but they're gonna kick our ass the rest of the game. Twenty-eight nothing. Well, now Mevis. Just have them return kicks for, for funsies at this point. Give some level of fun to this game. Well, 2.41 to go in the first quarter. Will the Jags pick up a first down? Yes, already. Jags' entire offense has been Travis Etienne. But they get to midfield and forget how to play football. David Horn blew it up. Patrick Queen out there. ETN for a gain of only a yard. Lawrence, three of ten. And a tackle to go along with the interception for Patrick Queen. Lawrence back to Pat. Oh, we got a wide open Elias Williams and TJ Tampa's in pursuit. Broken tackles. How the hell did he get out of that? 
Biggest play for the day, or for the Jags on the day, down to the 18. Elias Williams, a concern coming into this game. Lawrence back to pass again, and it is caught by Elias Williams. I tried to pick it with TJ Tampa, but does not go. 47 seconds to go, first quarter. Throwing, picked. Trey McNutt. Third pick of the first quarter for Trevor Lawrence. And we will get this to quarter number two with a run to the outside for Devon H. Chan. 28 to nothing. And will we get this to the second quarter? Yeah, oh, maybe. H. Chan broke one. Pushed out of bounds by Thomas Davis Jr. First quarter ends. Well, we can't completely forget. Julian saying he's got to get his too. They go play action here on first Throwing and McMillan has it. What a strike from Saiyan for Tetsuroa McMillan. Sure, we'll try the quick strike. Why not? Play action again. This is Waddle coming across. Jalen Waddle's got it. He's hauled down at the one. Whole bunch of passing yards. Kalen King on the stop. We're going to try the outside run for Braylon Allen again. We get a block from the fullback, but he probably took the wrong guy. Tackle for Tut. Well, Oscar Delp is going to run parallel to the goal line. Lob it up. Delp! Nice jumping play. First incompletion of the day for Julian Sand. Looking either McMillan or Delp here. And it's going to be Oscar Delp. He's got it for a Miami touchdown. <clears throat> well, we can taste the AFC title game already. Oscar Delp. Eight passes, 34 points. Oh, man. 35 points now. And it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send. We have a debacle happening. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee and they'll take over at the 25. Jacksonville set to go again offensively. I feel like we're past the point of using Travis Etienne. Linebackers bringing pressure. And a quick pass to Mike Williams for a gain of four. Lawrence not yet to 100 yards passing. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. I keep getting faked out on that. And it is ETN. Gain of three. They just are not letting the fact that they're down 35 to nothing really deviate them much from their plan. Oh, that's a lob pass. Caught. Adonai Mitchell, I believe, down the sideline. It is. Gain of 34. ETN. Going to run right into Patrick Queen. Well, on the bright side for the Jags, I mean, they got a good chance to get on the board here. And delayed handoff. <laughs> I never understand that animation. When <laughs> he just got stood up by Patrick Queen, and yet he's able to pick up two yards. 
Uh, uh oh. Third and eight. Pressure! Lawrence escapes and he fires over the middle. He's got Elias Williams. Down to the 10. It's going to be one of those games where every bit of passing offense goes to one guy. And that's a touch. No! Somehow dropped by Mike Williams. On what planet? Lawrence. Back to throw. And there it is. It is Malik Neighbors for a Jacksonville touchdown. They have found their way to the end zone. We were beginning to wonder if it was possible. Extra point good. Oh, it's only a 28-point game. I'm sure they're, sure they're right back in this. This is the first return of the game for Ben Perez, who took one back for a touchdown in the last game. I said earlier in that game, when we took when we uh, returned a kick for a touchdown with Ben Perez, because we hadn't done it yet for a touchdown, uh, the franchise was over. So I guess this is the last year of building the Dolphins, eh? And Achan, Devon Achan, with some space. Gain of, I was going to say 26, 16 yards. Eighty-six yards for HN. We'll swing it out wide to him, and a move stood up well. I feel like saying is going to be over 200 yards, almost. Fuck, let's just get him over 200 yards before halftime. He's got time. Oh, he had Marv. We waited a fraction too long, and it's third and six. Well, we're just kind of stat chasing now, and it might just bite us here a little bit. Third and six. And we had to force that one. Oh, Oscar Delp still got it, though. That 100% should have been picked. But when you're on one, you're on one. I think they're going to challenge whether we stepped out of bounds or not. Regardless, first down for Miami. And a Chan. Nobody came to block the second level. Thomas Davis Jr. Second down and six. Throwing. That should have been picked. And that was Davis Jr. We got a little bit of panic going there. Might just be looking for Oscar Delp again. Oh, we got to find him. No. Saying lucky to get that away. Mikel Williams, that's going to set up a 60-yarder for Harrison Mevis. This would be his career long when we're using him. Kicked a 58-yarder last game, and Mevis has it up. It is good. Make it a 31-point game. That's a big ball from the big boy. Well, can Jacksonville They're still down double digits, so you feel like put together a couple eight. drives now? They had the one. Are they capable of having a second? Is that throw a bit weird? Jalen Phillips over there, apparently. And see where this game is. 
Empty backfield for Lawrence. He'll fire over the middle. He's got Malik Neighbors, and Malik Neighbors might be gone. Well, that went well. Jaguars back-to-back -back drives with touchdowns. Last time, they just put together a nice drive. This time, it's our mistake. It puts Jaguars points on the board. 38-14 now. And Ben Perez from the one. Perez has blocks. Can't get to the outside. We'll get to the 30. Is this just a Devon HN day? Do we even bother to work in Blake Corum? He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done. We'll fire. There's Jalen Waddle for a Miami first down. 10 of 14 for Saiyan. Send Marv deep. Maserati Marv, nice throw by Saiyan, and he's got it. Down to the 27. Marv is just too good, man. Three catches, 110 for Marvin Harrison Jr. We'll go back to the run. HN, can he get to the outside? Yes, but only going to be able to get back to the line of scrimmage. We had to run backwards a little bit. 30 plays, 38 points. Oh, ow. We're doomed. Right as I tried to scramble away, that one gets free. That'll be third down and 15. task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Achan got stuck. And all of a sudden, it's fourth and 31. The game wants me to punt. I feel like that's going to be the right call. 65 yards. Does Mevis have it in him? And the punter's on the sideline. Here's the field goal unit now to try and accept. I don't know. Tory Taylor, the hold. Oh, my goodness. I think it's good. Harrison Mevis from 65. <laughs> oh, have a game, big boy. Jesus. Well, 41-14, 4 10 to go before halftime. David Horn just got straight into the backfield, and that is thrown behind Malik Neighbors. Well, we play some sound defense. We can take this massive lead into halftime. This so far, the game of this franchise for sure. And a handoff for ETN. Stop by Jalen Phillips, third down and seven. Oh, that's a quick ball. Adonai Mitchell hit hard. First down up to the 40. speech to make an adjustment no you can't because if you're doing it right you're adjusting from series to series three minutes to play in this first half and the Jags they're gonna run it <clears throat> and a tackle there for David Horn a run for Trevor Lawrence I don't know if that's really the smartest call David Horn almost got free. It's out of the reach. Couldn't tell if that was neighbors. Third and ten. 
Well, the Dolphins, who've kind of sputtered just a little bit, were, we were scoring touchdowns. Now we're kicking field goals. Lawrence with a nice throw. That is Mike Williams. Third catch for him, and that's the two-minute warning. 41 to 14. It couldn't have gone much better, but again, the Jags have had a little bit more life here. In quarter number two. Throw it. Oh, wow. Well behind the intended receiver. Snap. Guys get through. That's thrown at Bear Alexander on the screen. Third down and ten. Oh, we haven't used her Buneri in a bit. Buneri! Quick throw on a slant. Adonai Mitchell with a catch, and it says they're going to go for the field goal. Not even going to burn a timeout. This is no gimme. 54 yards, and it's blocked by Jazavian Currents, and we may have a big man touchdown. Bear Alexander. Oh, he's getting caught. Oh, we missed him. Big man with ball is in the end zone. Blocked field goal returned for a touchdown for Bear Alexander. <laughs> I saw him be able to pick that ball up and not leave his feet. And it was looking pretty good. Fifth Jacksonville turnover. Fall big man with big man touchdown. Followed up by big man PAT. <laughs> Rumbling, bumbling, and stumbling, and breaking tackles, might I add. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. That's a new one. That's the first this time we've had that happen this year. Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they I mean, that's fair. A minute and two seconds. Three timeouts for Jacksonville. What else can go wrong in this first half for them? Uh, not much on that. Just an incomplete pass. 13 of 28 for Lawrence. Lawrence fires over the middle. It's picked by E.J. Verdon. That's one of those games where the AIs just got no chance. You know what? We need redemption on the screen. Let's get it. H.N. don't run into blockers this time. H.N. to the outside. We've got blocks. First down. He got popped, though. And have a shot to the end zone, perhaps. No. HM, block for me, buddy. Block for me. He doesn't have to block for me. It's a touchdown for Julian Sand on the scramble. Well, Shags were back, back feeling good about themselves. I think they got this down to a three score game. And the end of this first half has gone to hell for them. 55-17. When does chew clock start? I mean, usually in a scenario like this, all second half. However, we also, two of our three franchises we've done to this point, the last year that we do, and the, the only reason we never did it with the Raiders, because we never had a true last year. 
Bears ready to go on offense for the final uh, time in this first half. When, uh, when the team scores 100 points in a playoff game, that's usually the, the good signal to end it. So we are kind of chasing that. And they just uh, they just handed it off. They are taking halftime. 55-14. And the Dolphins get the ball to start the second half. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup as we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman and our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. This the first of four Divisional Round matchups coming up this weekend. We'll get back out to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look ahead to tomorrow's other Divisional Round games in the AFC. And it looks like a good one as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs doing battle with the Baltimore Ravens. Final what could go wrong in this second half? Not much in terms of us losing the game. As it's Ben Perez on the return and up to the 25. I feel like, as as I just mentioned, I mean, the goal of scoring a hundo is out there for us. That's over to Marv, and we let him a bit too far. Knocked away. We still want to score a lot of points and a nice block there, and it's A-Chan with space. Devon A-Chan, he's going to outrun Kalen King, and he will score. Second long touchdown of this playoff run for Devon A-Chan. Not as long as the other one. The other one was a 94-yarder. We got into that second level. There was one safety there to stop us. One juke move on him was all she wrote. And Devon Achan was off. Well, we score in 17 seconds. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. I think the Jags might be out of this game. I don't, I don't know. What do you what do you think? Think they have a shot? And this will be a touchback, so they'll bring it out to the 25. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first. Empty ten. backfield for Lawrence here on first down. And he's running. And this will be a gain of five. Got popped. Surprised you didn't slide down on that. I don't know what it is with the AI when they get down and they start to call a quarterback draw. I don't understand it. I never have, but that has happened in the past. As that's a heck of a catch there by Mike Williams. Twenty-yard gain. Jags moving. Fourth catch for Mike Williams. And it's it's Lawrence on the run again. He's going backwards. Five yards taken down by one area. And Lawrence, three rushes for no net gain. And a handoff ETN. There's one area again. After a gain of two yards for Travis ETN. I mean, pressure's been getting home. We haven't got a lot of sacks in this game. But we've been getting pressure on, on blitzes. We almost got some there. And Lawrence, he wants to throw it. That's bad in AI for you. Had space to run for the first down. Instead, he tried to stay behind the, six, the sticks there and fire it to the sideline. That's a choice. 
And a miserable punt. That punt went 16 yards? Is that right? How do I find this? Hold on. Stats. Highlights. A 16-yard punt for Ryan Sanborn. No return. Who would have thought? We're at least going to keep throwing the ball, at least for this third quarter. Marv, out of reach again. And we're kind of ruining the uh, completion percentage of Julian Sand a little bit here. A lot of bodies in the box. Play action, Sand rolling out. We got Marv. This time we hit him. Down to the 40. Uh, we did American Express round two. One shot off the lead. As we head into the weekend, we'll get round three underway leading off tomorrow's stream. Uh, Red Wings bounce back on a win here. Eight Chan on the run, a gain of five. And then and then there's this. This game has been a happening. I must flip the play. Get those tight ends to the wide side of the field. Harrison is set and a pitch play. Braylon Allen, nice block on the edge by the fullback, Will Doyle. First down, Braylon Allen. So another first down on the drag. This is Oscar Delp will cut it upfield. Tripped up somehow. But a 13-yard gain. First down again. Lobbing it up. That's a, that's a pick. Thomas Davis Jr. with an interception. But they get this at the two, and he is Thomas Davis Jr. hurt after the play. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. This is a big risk. However, what do we have to lose? And it's a run to ETN at two yards. Yeah, we talked about that. It's uh, Michigan's got to get Jim's contract situation figured out now because they they can't do anything just because of the uncertainty. Here is ETN again, tripped up by Patrick Queen. 64 yards on 11 carries for Travis Etienne. They switch the play. Everyone's fine outside of Shiloh Sanders. And wide open Malik Neighbors out past the 20. Playing too far off. 32 passes for the Jags. A throw, and Malik Neighbors makes it around Patrick Queen, and he picks up a first down. Jags looking like they might just be doing something here. Well, that play at the goal line by Thomas Davis Jr., and here's another draw play for Trevor Lawrence, and Lawrence has space. He's juking us out. We got to do something, Madden, about these juke moves. I've been juked by Blaine Gabbert this year. We need to do something about this. ETN hit hard by Trey Alexander. Or not Trey Alexander, Bear Alexander, but Trey McNutt is uh, down on the field to the sideline, though. Yeah, 100% crystal ball to say into Ohio State, so... Not a great, uh, not a great look at the moment. Quick throw. That is a lot of space for Elias Williams. Hit hard. Down at the 27-yard line. Fifth catch for 99 yards for Elias Williams. Trey McNutt could come back. 
Not like we need him to come back in a game like this, but why not? A motion. It's a fake jet sweep. ETN breaking one. Travis ETN to the 10. The dream of 100 points is dying right before our eyes. And pressure. This is ETN on the edge. He jukes. Shiloh Sanders out of his shoes down at the two-yard line. We're getting juke move left and right, quite literally. Second catch for ETN. We got Winnery lined up on the guard and at defensive line. And mainly the linebackers with good penetration around the outside. Third down and four. I mean, going to be tough to get a first down without a touchdown. I will say, and they get the touchdown. It's the third of the game for Malik Neighbors. I want to drive for the Jags. Well, a drive that started all the way back at their own two. And now to cut the lead to a cool 41. So give them credit for a 100-yard drive. Ryan Sanborn kicks off. Ben Perez, why not? Bring it out. I tried to just try and follow the blocks and see if there was something that opened up. It didn't happen. First down Miami, 4-16 to go, third quarter. We're going to go to the outside here. Doyle, the fullback. Nice catch in traffic. Bit surprising. H-Chan, nice block shed there. I was waiting for the block downfield to try and hit the hole, trying to be a little patient. Did not work, and now H-Chan with a yard to go. He'll pick up the first down. 15 carries, 175 yards. A nice day for Devon H-Chan. What we're going to do, I, I usually do this a lot sooner. But we're going to work uh, Blake Corum in the game. So we'll put Corum number one, A-Chan number two. A-Chan's just been undeniable today, so that's fair. Oh, wow. What a catch, Oscar Dell. I threw that right into zone coverage, and it somehow works out. Quorum's first run of the day. Not much space. Drag forward for three yards. 201 Miami rushing yards. Third and one. We got Oscar Delp. It's behind him, but he hauls it in. Woo! Life flashed before our eyes on that. HN back in the game. And we got a good block on the edge from Tetsuro McMillan. Couldn't do much with it. Yeah, that's how that that's how that goes, right? At least according to the internet. Uh, uh, not even the internet, at least Elon Musk's version of Twitter. Over the uh, yeah, yeah. I did not expect 15 to just turn around. Third down and seven. We really probably should get a little bit more run happy here. There's Oscar Delp again for a first down. Down to the 21. Do we take the, the, the fourth quarter now? Well, we don't have a choice. And 15 minutes to play. Ah, it's Douglas. It's a weird read. I think this might be the first catch all day for Trent Douglas. 
A team that led the NFL in sacks, apparently, has two all day on our offensive line. To the outside, Corum bouncing off, tackler. What the? <laughs> well, that's a tackle animation. I <laughs> what do you mean? Corum bounces off, whiffs, and then his feet just come out from under him here. A, a graze on the ass cheek. Brings him down. Gotta tell you, partner, when you're trying to salt away a game, this is exactly what it's supposed First to First and work. goal. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look Saying low. it's gonna be his second rushing touchdown of the day. I wish I knew. As a weird weird animation. Harrison Mevis for 60 nice points on the Jags. It's good. 12 play, five and a half minute drive. We needed that. And now Mevis to send it away. Let me guess, Arsenault's not gonna return. Jacksonville as they get ready to go. Their hopes of advancing past this divisional round hanging by a threat if that is a beginning. Let me guess, this pass isn't going to be thrown over five yards. Oh, it was! And it's going to go for nearly 20. Adonai Mitchell. First play of the drive, a success, 19 yards. Took just one play. Well, we're going to see fourth quarter Jacksonville potentially. Lawrence has room to run. He's going to do just that. Slides down. That's probably a real penalty on TJ Tampa, but this game doesn't know what it's doing. First down, Jags to the outside. That is Elias Williams, who is injured. On the play and back to the locker room, who's been one of their, I think he is their top pass catcher. From the 34-yard line, here's second down and eight. Lawrence to throw again. No idea where that was going. Yeah, somebody, somebody let TJ Tampa know on Twitter. He's he's just a dirty player. Go the Vikings fan route of hoping Kirby Joseph blows out his fucking knees. Because that's what's happening as of late. It's fourth down. For Jacksonville, they will bring on the field goal unit. For some consolation points, it'll be good. You can not like the hit all you want. I don't particularly love the hit, but it's what the NFL has forced players to do. But we're just going to completely ignore the fact that, you know, the Rams, there's screenshots of the Rams player doing the same exact thing, as Ben Perez might have his second kickoff return for a touchdown in his Dolphins career, and he does. The road for 100. There's a path. Touchdown, Ben Perez. Guy was on this team for three, four years without taking one back. I have no idea what that celebration was. I was going to comment on that. 76-24 with 12 minutes to go. Well, we talk a lot about explosive plays on offense. How about an explosive play on special teams? Certainly one there on the kick return for a touchdown. And we will not see an attempt to match that return touchdown as this will be a touchdown. Does Malik Neighbors have more magic in him? Will it make a difference? No. Will it... 
make me sad that we allowed more points? Yes. David Horn got free, and David Horn, as well as Trey Hendrickson, in on the sack. Loss of nine. And screen. Is somebody free? Uh, ETN try to make something happen. And in the process, stopped all his momentum. It's only a gain of one. Hauled down by Travis Hunter. Third and 18. Yes, Jazavian Currents. Your zone is all the way over here, but let's line up there. Uh-oh. <laughs> ET. <laughs> Well, that's the last thing I expected. That is a 100-yard game on a 3rd and 19 conversion to Travis Etienne. And it's another run for Etienne. He's got more space and breaking more tackles. 76-24. They have conceded. And it's ETN again. How? How do you block? How do you block the guy that's being taken? Like another dolphin is engaging with him, and it's just like, nope, the block doesn't kick in. And then, and then the guy that had a chance to make a play, as that's going to be picked by Travis Hunter. What can we make happen here? Travis Hunter tried to go around Lawrence up near midfield. Well, we're still pushing for 100 points, so the offense will be continue, uh, continue to be ran, rather. Saying. Marvin. Oh, what is that animation? Saying's winding up, and then all of a sudden the ball's in his fucking belly. I hate that. I've struggled with this ever since Matthew Stafford was my quarterback. He's pumping, he's pumping, he's firing, and then all of a sudden he's hit and the animation kicks in. Like, the way he goes from arm back, like, this is a fumble. If this is really what we want to do, this is a fumble, but he's somehow able to tuck it. And reaction by the defense. Second and 18. Marvin Harrison Jr. <laughs> what do you know? Hurry up offense. Why not? Third down and three. That kind of got blown up. It's picked. Uh-oh. McIntosh with the interception. As the only read we had under pressure is going to get picked off. The road to 100 might be dead. It's another screen. One Aries out there. He'll make a tackle at the line of scrimmage. And this Jags offense is trying to make sure that it's dead. Quick throw and a catch. Malik. <laughs> you know, in terms of 100 points. In terms of 100 points, that might be... A good thing. We're in no danger of losing this game. I don't know why Malik Neighbors slowed up to not score there. That's going to be to the one. We did. Indeed, we did, Pat. You continue. To lead like the lamb. <coughs> Are they just going to pound the run four straight times from the one yard line? Yeah. But they get it on attempt number two, Travis Etienne in the end zone. 
And the Jags get a small measure of revenge. Well, how do we how do we find a way to to keep 100 points alive? Do we call do we call broken plays? Is that what we do? Or well, we return with Ben Perez. That's what we do. And Ben Perez. Oh, I didn't hit the gap. Ben Perez had a chance. I didn't help him out. Already, but I mean, they are deserving as they start another series to be leading by this much with so much time left to play in the fourth. Charles, it's really, really been impressive to watch. It has been, and yet to think play so action so saying everyone kind of covered off. A try and go underneath here to Tetsuro McMillan for a first down. McMillan has had a quiet game, quiet playoffs. And last time we called this play, we threw a pick. Uh-oh. Um, well, that worked. Oh, I messed up the I messed up the celly. It's not the Waddle. Jalen Waddle touchdown, though. I think that's his first all game. No. <laughs> Commentary. Well, you know, Charles, I think you'd say right now that their class is starting to show through. Yes, the touchdown to extend the lead to 83 31 instead of 76 31. That's really what did it. There is somehow hope. However, I feel like the Jags are going to run. And run and run. That's pretty much what they've done in the fourth quarter. 83 13. Or 83 31, rather. Um, pretty much all we're going to be looking for is opportunities to make picks. Or sacks. We like sacks, too. Speaking of sacks, it's Williams Winery. His second of the divisional round. He just kind of glitched free there. That was really strange, but a loss of eight there. Second and 18. And now we drop back into a deep zone because they're apparently wanting to fire it deep as there's Mike Williams. It's going to be a short gain. Third and 14. But it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after I have no faith that they're going to try and go for the sticks here. I feel like they're just trying to quick pass and wind down time as David Horn got free. Big hit on Mike Williams and a drop pass. Jazavian Currents. Ryan Sanborn to punt. Three and a half to play. Harrison Jr. on the return. Can Maserati Marv make something happen? He's got the punter to beat. Oh, he slipped the tackle. And inside the 20 to the 18-yard line. Marvin Harrison Jr. has had one hell of a day returning punts. And let's look for a quick strike here with Jalen Waddell. They've got pressure underneath. And oh, wow. Kalen King broke off of that route. Broke that up. Second and ten. Could be looking for Oscar Delp here. There's only single safety help over the top. We're looking for Delp. Corner of the end zone. Oh, no, he couldn't hang on. What do you mean he couldn't hang on? It hit him square in the hands. Saying to scramble. Firing. Oh, what a catch by Marvin Harrison Jr. Somebody riding his ass into the end zone. An extra point away from 90. I don't think we have two possessions in us at the end of this game, but we're certainly going to try. 
they might actually do that? No chance. They've kept attacking and got another touchdown pass as a result. The casual 59-point lead. Man, no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready. Do the Jags try and get a first down? Probably. It'll be Baltimore or Kansas City. Broken tackle by Etienne on Patrick Queen, but still for a loss. Williams, Winery, and Travis Hunter. Haven't seen Baltimore in this franchise. Lawrence. On the run. Oh, goodness. What a throw to Malik Neighbors. It's third down and inches. On the run. A little bit behind Neighbors. And now what is the call? The score line the way that it is. I can't imagine. Jacksonville trying to run this. From the shotgun. And that's a first down. Speared down by E.J. Verdon, but a first down for the Jags. Might just kill the 100-point dream. They're in no hurry. Going to need a turnover and then some magic. Lawrence back to pass. Lawrence with plenty of time. Flag on the play. I didn't even hit the button. Really? Really? I guess. I mean, the ball, that looks perfectly timed to me. But the animation kicks in a second too early, so. First down Jacksonville, apparently. They're trying to fire deep. Empty backfield here. A minute 29 to go. And let, let him score. Let him score. Let him score! Damn it. First down Jacksonville inside a minute to go. We would have a chance if not for that pick at the goal line. Let him score! <laughs> Damn it. Malik Neighbors to the two. Ninety to thirty-one. It's, I don't know how we're gonna score this quickly. Eighteen seconds we're gonna have to at least make it a a a mental one hundred points because we know we could have done it. McKillop likely his final kick of the night. Up and good. Thirty-eight to ninety. 250 to go. Well, we're running glitch plays the rest of the way. Ben Perez not going to return this. To the end zone it goes. Devon Achan, whose name you see right now on the screen, uh, he is not going to uh, probably see the ball. On this drive. Yeah, and it was apparent that they were the better team, right? We figured that out pretty early. But give them a lot of credit for giving her a goal. To Tetsuro McMillan. Out of bounds. At the 45, as Saiyan could pass over 500 yards in this game. Can I flip the play and not get called for a false start? Yes. 12 seconds. They are dropping so many back. McMillan, we missed him. No. 
I don't know. Well, this play is nice. I don't know if we can get out of bounds in seven seconds, though. Jalen Waddle got it out of bounds at the one. We have a chance. No! <laughs> Game ended. Oh, well, the Dolphins are off to the AFC Championship game for the second straight year. We demolished the Jacksonville Jaguars. And two more wins. If we get those two more wins, I say we call this franchise. We had a battle just to get back to the playoffs. And then we turned the reins over to Julian saying, man, and it went... This team just flipped, man. They simulate so much better. And when we get to play them in the playoffs, they play. I guess I can't say they play so much better. We never got to play a playoff game with uh, with Shadur Sanders. But, man, oh, man. I mean, saying is we kind of nuked his completion percentage just a little bit down to 67.5. But even still, I mean, when's the last time we saw a quarterback in one of our franchises have those kind of numbers? We, we always, we'll pass for the yardage, but the, the completion percentage is just always down. Miami has the Dolphins, the greatest football team. We take the ball from goal to goal like no one's ever seen. We're in the air, we're on the ground, we're always in control. And when you...